Hey, I'm Loke. Every two minutes, someone is diagnosed with cancer in the United Kingdom. That's nearly 990 new cases just in the UK alone. Cancer is a horrendous disease that affects everyone regardless of your age, sex, colour or creed. In these videos, I wish to raise the profile of Cancer Research UK and fight cancer with fun. Luke and I will be live streaming for Cancer Research UK in the near future, but we will have little impact alone. If you're inspired by these words to join us in this fight against cancer, please do get in touch. Because if we come together, we can beat cancer. I hope you enjoy the video. Good evening everybody, Loke here for another One Shot Opinion video, and this week we are delving into a part of video gaming that I squeak on a lot about whenever I record videos, and that is the video game soundtrack, because yes, I absolutely love a good video game soundtrack. If you've seen any of the videos, I always Twitter on about it. But yes, it's such a wonderful topic that when I did start doing a little research to brush up on my own personal knowledge, I found myself falling down a rabbit hole of ideas, opinions, and surprisingly, academic articles. Um, and so here we are with a one-shot opinion academic review. Um, but of course, it wouldn't be a one-shot video if we didn't have any music in the background. So here we have the gaming-inspired tune, Star Map by t -Lark, the blue and black fox with a heart of gold. Absolutely love this track. A link is in the description below if you do want to check it out without me twittering over it. But yes, what is my opinion? Video game music is awesome, and here's why. An academic review. So yes, of course we can all agree that video game music in general is awesome due to it more often than not being tailored to the experience of the player in a particular game. Uh, soundtracks from games such as Doom, Faster Than Light and Hotline Miami amongst numerous others are perfect, ex perfect examples of this. Sorry, I'm getting so excitable. I'm losing my own words. But what makes these soundtracks so hecking awesome? Um, well, when I was doing research, I came across several journal articles. Uh, I put a bibliography in the description below if you do want to check those out after this video. One such article was uh, titled Play Along, An Approach to Video Game Music. Uh, in it, the author, Zach Whalen, now Professor Zach Whalen, his argument was that cognitive theories of perception and questions of immersion versus engagement act as a means of understanding flow or pleasurability in games, which allows for a richer understanding of the complex communication involved in video game music. Now, what I took away from this is that this approach to video game music enables immersion um, with it referencing flow and pleasurability, and when you're immersed, you get more of a flow in video gaming and you receive more pleasure from a video game. Now, I'm aware that people talk about immersion and immersive experiences quite frequently, but what does it actually mean? So, in another journal, um, a journal article, uh, The Pleasure Principle Immersion Engagement Flow by Douglas and Targadon in 2004, in it, they posit that self-consciousness disappears, perceptions of time become distorted, and concentration becomes so intense that the game completely absorbs us. So that, that is the definition of immersion that I will be using here. Now this is achieved as a dialectic between unconscious states of immersion and conscious moments of engagement. So again, you're, you're becoming a part of the game, you're, you're, you're seeing the game for what it is due to that video game music, you, you, you're becoming absorbed in it. Um, this can be further observed in findings by Zhang and Fu 2015 in their paper The Influence of Background Music of Video Games on Immersion. Now where I quote, results show that the participants with background music got significantly higher scores from questionnaires, performed worse in after game tasks and expressed more serious time distortion than those participants without hearing background music. They then further went on to say, correlations were made to find that only the questionnaire scores and time distortion were significantly related. These results of, of present research showed that background music did increase participants immersion, but that this improvement was likely to happen just in low gamers. So within their sample of 100 um, undergraduate students, all males, just to reduce the bias between male and female populations, in it, High gamers were defined as individuals who played more than 40 hours of video games a week, whereas low gamers were defined as individuals who played less than 40 hours of uh, video games a week. Now, I find this fascinating as it indicates a limit of return on soundtracks um, and shows that only in conjunction with other things can a game be truly immersive for individuals who play for long periods. So for video gamers that did play more than 40 hours a week, they became less immersed due to sort of like that. They 
they had played so much of a video game that the soundtrack was no longer affecting them. Whereas those that did play less than 40 hours a week, the soundtrack had a more significant impact upon their video gaming experience and resulted in greater immersion and subsequently allowed for um, improved questionnaire results. Now, in the aforementioned study, um, Wharton and Collins 2011 was also referenced, which was a, a paper titled Subjective Measures of the Influence of Music Customization on the Video Game Play Experience, a pilot study wherein. Uh, wherein by varying the songs, or altering the order of the songs, it was found that players not only experienced different immersive and emotional states, but also considerably changed how they played the game. So, having different soundtracks from different games in other games resulted in a different way of playing the game. Now, I find this awesome, as it shows that good video game music is designed meticulously to deliver the best experience for the game you are playing. Let's take Tetris for, for one such example, um, and, and take the Tetris theme tune. Its tones and rhythm match the gameplay perfectly, and just from purely anecdotal evidence, personally, I found that this soundtrack improves my gaming experience compared to when the track is turned off. I found that I actually play Tetris better when I have the Tetris soundtrack, because it was designed for the game. If I have other gaming music, then... I'm not going to do as well as when I have the Tetris soundtrack. Again, that's purely anecdotal evidence, but I feel that is reflected in some of the studies as aforementioned. But yes, it's just video game music is awesome because these tracks enrich our experiences and make us better players. Depending on the design of the music, these soundtracks can then be utilised to improve our productivity, not only in video games, but also in the workplace. Um, this opinion has been reflected by many and on where it isn't original. However, this is important to note as not only do these tracks enrich our gaming experiences, as aforementioned, but this enrichment of our general product productivity, whilst allowing for enjoyment of, of awesome music, is, is really special to me. Because I just love video gaming music and I love being able to take something that I love and bring it into the workplace. Enjoy that and be more productive in that workplace. It's great. The number of hours that I have studied two video game tracks is, is, is beyond my count. I, I cannot think how many hours I have listened to soundtracks just studying. I listen to 10 hour mixes of video game soundtracks just to get in the zone to study more efficiently. And, and it, it works for me. And that that is why video game music is awesome. I love it. It's, uh, it's great. Um, again, if you want to read any of the um, journal articles that I have mentioned, there is a bibliography in the description below. Um, so yes, video game music is awesome, and that was why. But of course, I have to thank t uh for allowing us to use the track Star Map. Um, this gaming-inspired tune has helped me with my productivity so much in and outside of YouTube editing. It's, it's, it's great soundtrack to edit music to again it's, it's truly beautiful um if you want to check it out without me squeaking over it as i mentioned the link is in the description below also um but yes sadly it does come to that shill 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 bit of the video if you enjoyed this video leave a like comment and subscribe if not that's perfectly fine as well those sorts of things can go and get lost much like uh some of the bad video game soundtracks luckily there are very few of those but they are there nonetheless because not all video game music is awesome, but video game music is awesome. And I know that doesn't make sense, but I love video game music regardless. I think it's all awesome, but others may not. But yes, thanks once again for watching our videos. I hope you have a wonderful evening and good night.